Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Masood. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to just talk about how to actually get into the physio program in the UK if you're from India. Now, I know this probably sounds very random to you, um, but recently I've had a few requests from people asking me uh, to just make a video based around this topic. So um, I wanted to go ahead and just uh, outline the process for you and just make the steps um, you know, really clear and simple to understand. Um, as I know, the application process can sometimes get confusing. Now, also, if you're an international student, um, I just want to say there are some principles that will still apply to you, even if you're not from India. So make sure to give it a watch and uh, yeah, enjoy and hopefully it's useful to you. Thanks. Alright, so the first thing that you'll probably need is to actually just get the grades. <laughs> so I know it sounds really simple, but it actually is. So just from having done a little bit of research on a few universities in London, and they all mentioned people from India should have at least 80% in the higher secondary certificate of at standard 12. So that's equivalent to a grade B in uh, the A level studied in the UK. As well as this, you should have um, an English uh, sort of certification, and usually for people in the UK, international students, it's the IELTS, so the International English Language Standard Test, and you should have at least, let me just check, you should have at least uh, 7 and 6.5 in each skill. So those are the two things that first of all you need to have to actually get your application process going. So once you have your academic profile and you meet the criteria, the next thing for you to do is actually just write a personal statement and you know include some references from a couple of teachers or people uh, who actually know you. Now the way to actually do this is to use the UCAS website which is like a portal for applicants who want to study in the UK. Now, I've left links in the description of this video for the UCAS application uh, process. It's like a simple guide, a video which shows you how to actually apply and uh, a video to uh, how to actually write your personal statement and make sure it's good. Once you've actually met the academic requirements and you've got the grades, you've made an application through UCAS, so you've written a personal statement, you've got references, you've done all that. The third thing is, um, it, may, it may be a couple of weeks to a couple of months, but that university will get back to you once they've reviewed your application on UCAS. You will get an email or notification telling you whether that university wants to bring you over for an interview. So when you get an interview offer, you can choose to either accept or reject, um, depending on where you want to study. So once you've got that, the next step is for you to actually interview with the university. Now you can do this over a video call, like a video conference call, or you can actually physically attend uh, the interview uh, in person. So which will involve you traveling from your home country to uh, the UK. Um, so if you wanted to learn a little bit more about how to actually pass your interview, I've actually made a video for this, so if you just look at the video description, I've left a link to one of my videos which gives a few tips on actually how to pass, what to expect and you know, um, just really tips on how to be successful. So have a look at that and it will probably give an idea of what to do. The last thing, once you've actually met the academic requirements, you've submitted an application via UCAS and you've gone to your interview, it's been successful, congratulations, you've got an offer to study at a university. The next thing for you to do is, is to actually just either accept or reject that offer. So you can do this via UCAS um, and then really the process is quite straightforward from there. Um, you know, you have to fill it, f uh, for example, if you're an international student, you probably have to think about uh, applying for a visa or financing options, whether that's a loan or how you're actually going to pay for your tuition fees uh, and accommodation, etc. Ultimately, I hope you took some things from, it, from this video. Thanks very much.